So uh, basically when, when you have a body animation that you're doing, you can always find reference. You can videotape yourself. You can uh, go out on YouTube and, and look some things up for certain moves. But for facial, um, the best reference is yourself. And the quickest way to get that reference is using a mirror. Um, going through the line that we have in Maya, um, I can recite it over and over again and, and look at how my mouth is moving. Um, I can act it in front of myself to, and look at myself in the mirror and try to replicate that right on screen. Um, and I think that's the biggest tool that an animator uses when doing facial animation. You can say right. it different ways. Um, you can try and use the eyebrows in, in different ways and focus on different things. Well, the face plates are just easy. <laughs> Usually that's actually automated, you know, in, in, uh, in the engine through face effects. And what we'll do is layer on some expressive um, eye movements. They don't have pupils, so they can't look left and right, and that's kind of challenging. So getting the, the head tilt in the right way is uh, something that's pretty key. And getting their body to know that I'm speaking to this character right here is pretty important. Almost like making a silent film, if you think about that how they had to direct themselves to the character that they're speaking. I personally think that they should do more gestural animation toward the direction that they're going rather than eyebrow and, um, and facial animation because their heads are so small compared to the rest of their bodies. Um, proportionately speaking, their, their heads are probably about this big compared to the rest of my body. And so I think getting that gesture in there like this and such um, would go a lot further than dealing with, with the face mm -hmm. and getting those details in the eyes. I'm a big proponent of facial animation in games. Not many games get it right, and so that's, that's one of my eyesores. Delivering on the emotion of the line takes the entire face. The, the shape of the mouth, if you're grinning, if you're happy. You know, the eyes and the cheeks and everything throughout move all, all together as a unit. I mean, they don't all move at the same time. That would be kind of weird, but yeah. they all, you know, they all connect and they support each other. You know what? When I was when I was a kid and I was watching those, I thought it was the best thing on TV. Uh, Transformers and GI Joe back to back were like the highlight of my day, every single day. And now that I'm I'm older and I've been uh, studied animation and I've worked in the industry, I look back at those series and. <laughs> And it, it makes me laugh a little bit. Some of the storylines were uh, very on the cheesy side, and uh, the animation is second rate. Sorry, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but um, you know what? I still enjoy watching them. They actually do show them on the hub right now, the old G1 series. And I found myself just the other night clicking through and pulling over my my uh, my daughters and like, hey, I used to watch this when I was a kid. Watch this, and they were kind of like. Um, yeah, this is boring. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> but I'm sitting there watching them. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> this is awesome. Watch this part.